You know, we're fishing the beginning of the fall transition. The water temperature is still warm, but the days are getting shorter. The bait is starting to move. So basically what I'm gonna concentrate on is funnel areas where the bass could push the bait up against the bank or in little crevices and little pockets. Got them right off the tip of that tree. So here's another thing, okay? I'm throwing the, the Norman Fatboy and it comes through the wood so good, it's ridiculous. So here, here's what I did. There's a point, the tree came out and made a point. So I wanted to bring the bait fish through that point on the tree, just like if the bait fish were swimming in there, because a lot of times what the shad will do is they'll feed, they'll feed on the uh, algae on the tips of those branches. And so that, out, that outside edge is a good funnel point for the bass to ambush those shad as they come into the outside edge of that tree. You know, I'm, I'm varying my retrieve. As I come over something, I'm pausing it. When I hit the little bit of grass, I'm snapping it through. I'm constantly making this bait do things erratic. That's how you really elicit a strike on the, the fish in these square bills. There he is, that was a good one. As soon as I came off of that stump, he, that log, he railed it. So, he, you know, I'm reeling this thing in and I'm changing speed on it. I'm doing things erratic because I'm trying to, I'm trying to generate a bite here. The bait fish are all here and the bass are in with the bait. So I want this thing to stand out from, from the rest of it. So the whole key is on my retrieve. I'll stop it, I'll snap it, I'll pull it. And that's how I'm generating the bite. The fat boy is very buoyant. The first thing I do is when I crawl it over the piece of wood, I'll stop it. As soon as it goes down the other side, I'll stop it and pause it for a second and then speed up my retrieve. That particular bite there came, as soon as I rolled it over that leaner, I paused it and the fish got it. There he is, got him. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. The, the, the early fall transition does not have to be difficult. All you have to do is stay on the bait fish and you'll be on the bass. Oh yes, that is a beautiful fish. Early fall transition, the key is to stay on the bait fish and you'll always be around some bass. It doesn't have to be difficult. Don't make it hard. And you'll catch bass too during the tough times.